Welcome to ProtectYourBrain.com daily webcast. I'm William A. Van Horn, MD, a medical doctor who specializes in Alzheimer's disease. The purpose of the webcast is simple, to answer your questions. So please send me your questions via email, Twitter, Facebook, or our toll-free 800 number. Today I'm going to talk about the stages. What are the stages of Alzheimer's disease? Now there's different ways to stage it, so I'm going to tell you about one of the traditional ones, then I'm going to tell you about the way I stage it. The traditional staging is based on a test called a mini mental state exam. It's a 30-point test, and it just gives you a gross idea of where a person is in their memory loss process or their disease process. So from 0 to 10 is considered severe Alzheimer's disease. From 10 to 20 is considered moderate, and from 20 to 30, assuming they have Alzheimer's disease, is considered mild. Now, I prefer staging based on intervention. In other words, what I do is I try to help people, as I say, win the war with Alzheimer's disease. So I stage it based on the battle. Stage one is how can you reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease? That means you don't have it. So this is a part of the battle, stage one, is where what can you do to reduce your risk? And there's all kinds of things that you can do to reduce your risk. The second one is what I call early or moderate progressive memory loss. There's another intervention here, which is you've lost some memory, you're not disabled, but you've lost some memory. There's some significant interventions you can do with medication, with vitamins, with lifestyle changes that will slow down the progression of that memory loss, hopefully so you never get to the point of disability. And stage three is the one I define as where a person is disabled and now they're having some neuropsychiatric issues, meaning they're having some sleep problems, some energy problems, depression problems, maybe some paranoia, some agitation. They can't get along with their family. Their family's up all night with them. That's, that's what I call stage three, where I say talk about restoring dignity and relationship to your family member. Now, the reason I stage it this way is because there's intervention at each of those stages. Ultimately, the goal is, in stage one, keep your reservoir so you don't lose, start losing memory. Stage two, you've lost some memory. As early as possible, discover that you have that early memory loss associated with pro progressive memory loss to lead to disability. Start the medications. And at stage three, when the family member's out of control, get the proper treatment so they can be, have their dignity back and they can maintain a deep, loving relationship with you to the end of the disease. I hope you enjoyed today. Remember, send your questions to Twitter, Facebook, email, or our toll-free 800 number.